Hi guys, it's Eric in the alley again. Um, getting a little bit chilly in the morning here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But long sleeve and a full Yeti, full coffee. I, that'll cure you. But um, today I just wanted, uh, I still got Jim's car in here, the one I did a video on the other day. I was just trying out uh, Snap-on Modus ignition accessories with an HS512 and 8 scope. Now, this is where I ran into a little bit. Of, I figure I, I have to share with you guys because a lot of you guys know a lot more about the electronic components and you like building your own paddle probes and test leads. So, where the story begins, I wanted to use uh, Chris Ingram's ignition overlay app. And here I, you know, I'm a mechanic. I, I did the work first and read the instructions second. So the I did it wrong, basically. So what I wanted to do is redo the capture. You're supposed to do it, move the paddle probe from coil to coil, all on the automotive mode, all on one waveform. It, so I, I did load it with a good, with a known bad waveform, and it worked great. So I want to do it again, but I wanted to get some nicer captures for him. So before I went in for the day yesterday, I got out the uh, hand tech. Let me say I, again, hand tech paddle probe, because I know sometimes when I f switch the camera, it cuts off a little bit of sound, but this is the HT25. It usually works very good, it's, but I was getting the same thing as when I started. I used a snap on flag. This is the first thing I used on the Nissan in the other video, and they, they worked perfect. But these flags don't fit down. They stay up sideways, and this is the waveform I got with it, and, and I figured it was just because, you know, it laid down sideways like that. It's very, it has all this roll to it. So, I took out the paddle probe, and then whenever I probed them, let me show you what waveform I got with that. It had the same wave to it with the paddle probe. But on the video where I used this, this is a COP11 snap on coil probe when I use this I mean the, the waveform was very nice I mean no roll to it at all I mean there's no roll at all in that you know perfect captures so what it must be is this black box Seems to be the only electronic piece on it, the only thing that makes it different. I'm not sure if that's something, I mean, I'm sure it's a reduced interference or is it, you know, it couldn't be amplifying because it seems like it would amplify that roll. So it comes out very good. And I figured I'd just look on Snap-on. There's nothing much here. Oh, I had it loaded, but say so still want $129 for this. I'm sure this little box doesn't cost $129. So you guys out there like Dennis on the Gadgets playlist, I mean, I'm sure you know what this is. Uh, I'm, you know, a lot of people on the 8 scope group, I'm sure you, I'm sure they know what this is. Is this something we could be building and incorporating into our paddle probes? I don't know. But all I know is that, that gets an excellent waveform. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to get the capture right so I can put it on Chris Ingram's uh, overlay app and, you know, see how it works. But I'm going to use this instead of the paddle probe. All right, guys, that was just a quick one. And by the way, Chris, that's how the ball joints are going. Excellent. You can tell by the air chisel and the torches. But uh, that that's always work. This kind of stuff's fun, so doing a little bit more exploring and everything like that, I mean, so you try to give something back to the community, even if they already know and even this has already been done. Just put it out there and let others run with the ball. 
All right, guys, that's just a quick, I don't know, a quick discovery. I was going to say a tip, but it's not really a tip. All right, I, I just wanted to add one more thing to that on the end of it. This is, oh, let me focus here. Enhance. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Wow. So that's how Erico does it. But for burn time measurement only, see instructions. So it could possibly be in the book. I'm going to have to take a closer look at the online user manual for the modus. This came with it. Uh, it's an older modus. It's from like 2008. So, But I do have the manual for it. See if it gives us any more info on this. But for right now, that's it, guys. Have a good one. Adios. All right, guys, I'm getting a pretty good waveform on there with the snap-on pickup. But uh, one feature, if you're not aware of, with the uh, H-Scope, whenever I ordered this H-Scope from Martin Lauren, I also ordered a ring. It does, whenever you hit this, it'll leave a flag. So if you see anything you don't like, or in this case, every time I move the pickup from coil to coil, I'm going to hit the fl hit the button and let it leave a flag. A volume down on uh, Bluetooth headphones connected will also leave a flag. So that's basically what this is doing. So I'm going to turn off the light so you get a little better view. If this waveform doesn't roll, you'll see down here these red marks whenever I hit the flag. All right, guys, set up. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start eight scope, and then I'm gonna go move the coil or move the pickup from one coil to the other. Okay, let me stop it. Let me stop the car also. Alright, that should be the information we need for the app. But I uh, just wanted to show you, every time I hit the button, if you saw what was rolling, these red marks down there, that's the flag and that's what it looks like whenever you come up to it. Now this one has a number one on top of it, so it should. Now it's number two, so it does label in order. If you go, if you hit your flag as you hit your button as you go, if you're moving on top of like uh, an engine with your paddle probe and you hit this in between, you, you already have your cylinder identifier for what, what cylinder you were on. Looks like I missed the first one where I started at the beginning of it, but worked great. I mean, we could see one, the, you know, two, three, four. So hopefully this is going to work out in this app. We're going to give that a shot right now. All right, guys, I used Chris's app, and it, I had some pretty good results. I'm just doing, like, a voiceover because of the case and uh, tablet. But uh, what I did is I put in my cloud ID, pick my number of cylinders, and you could change by changing the time up there, the numbers. You could change, like, if you had an event that you wanted to put that on where you seen something really bad or something that, you know, caught your attention that you wanted to check out, move it till the dots on uh, the part you want to see. But on this, we see the ignition events all laid over each other. And you can measure what's higher, what's low, got cylinder identifiers. I mean, it's a really good program just made for uh, eight scope. I 
and you could see where your lowest voltage is occurring, that would be your lowest pickup. You could see the burn time for, you know, all four cylinders. You could see the dwell. I mean, you could see uh, the spikes kind of go off the top, but we're not really measuring KV on this. We're just looking for a major difference. And even when you go up that up to there, onto the spike on the KV spike, I'm not sure if the numbers, I didn't notice if the numbers followed higher than what the scale is like to give you a reading on that but we wouldn't be measuring kv with this only unless chris adds that but uh <laughs> h cup's easy enough to measure the kv with you i mean you really don't have to use an app for that but this is an app to give you something with that you only get with much more expensive software and uh he made it with himself with some input from uh, i believe dennis and uh martin himself so it's pretty neat. You upload your, you save your pattern, then you share, then it gives you a cloud ID button. You type your cloud e ID button in, you pick your number of cylinders, and you check your overlay. I'm definitely going to be using this in the future myself, and you guys, hey, give it a shot, you know, support each other. That's what it's all about. I was just playing around there. You can move around the dots. You could zoom in for the dwell time. You could zoom in for the burn line. Oh, no, that's pretty good. Good job, Chris. Okay, guys, that was a pretty good experiment on uh, both uh, actually using that uh, probe to, you know, find out that the paddle probe doesn't match. I still get the wave that I was getting with the original flags, but for some reason there's something electrical in that pickup to reduce the noise. Uh, if somebody knows what it is, definitely, you know, let us know because this will be, you know, pretty decent for building our own paddle probes to keep some of the noise out of it. And uh, if nobody knows what it is, you know, we'll tear that thing apart and find out what it is. Just, you know, if somebody knows, we'll keep it intact. But if not, you know, just like Chris gave up his time to make up that app, I'll give up that snap on flag to find out what's inside it because I know we'll be building this. But all right, guys, give his app a shot. And, uh, you know, if you haven't, give H-Scope a shot. Definitely. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to like it. I, I you know, I, I looked around for so long and I wish I did, did this first. Join the group and come on in. You know, it's wide open. The, if you can make an app that makes better, if you got a better idea, just, you know, give it up in the H Scope Telegram group. Somebody will get on it. I mean, there's new features being added all the time. If you could think of something that could be added, like how, you know, this paddle probe might already been done. I don't know. I mean, I, all I do is work on these things, and whenever I get time, I'm playing with the scope. So it's uh, I, I wish I could be on there more. Wish I could be part of everything as it's developing, but, you know, I'm one of the ones. If you make it, I'll use it. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's a fact. But all right, guys, you have a great day. Take care. Adios.